Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. This beginner workout is going to be great. It's a combination of cardio and strength. So we'll work on increasing our lean muscle mass, bearing weight on our ligaments and joints to increase bone density. And then we're gonna hit some cardiovascular moves to increase our heart rate and help us burn body fat. Your format is gonna be the 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. We're gonna repeat each exercise for three rounds and then move on never to see it again. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. I'll also use a bench. You don't need one, you can use the floor, but if you have one handy, grab that and your dumbbells. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. Hey, if you're looking for a program, a structured program of workouts for a month with lots of fitness, wellness, and nutrition coaching, click the card at the top of the screen for my beginner Kickstarter. All right, let's do this and let's move daily. So you can hit high intensity intervals on the watch if you'd like. Let's start with a warm up. One arm circle, big circles back. Good combination of cardio and strength. You know, it doesn't really matter what you hit on your watch, but <laughs> I like tracking it just because it closes the circles, it closes the rings, and it reminds me that I've moved daily. So that's why I set mine. I don't care too much about the calories burned. Switch sides. Those all have a margin of error anyway, right? Generally speaking, it's gonna read more calories burned than it actually is. Switch directions. So make sure that you're not a compensatory exercise and eater, right? You, you exercise and then you eat the amount that you've exercised off. It's generally not comparable. So just be cautious about that. Let's squat and retreat here. Can't squat, just standing right here. Some arm swings. Two more here. Take it wide. We're gonna plie and open in the chest. Last one here, stay wide with the feet. Reach opposite hand to opposite foot. And I'm just gonna go side to side with a lunge. Bring the opposite shoulder toward your knee. More here. And let's go into some hip openers. Up and around. Two more here. And feet a little wider than shoulder width, a little rotation, hands on the shoulders. those elbows together, hands together, press up and down, try to keep your elbows close. Nice little middle back stretch and rear delt or rear shoulder stretch. Four more here. Let's finish with a little heel sweep. Alternate sides. Those hamstrings warmed up. Last one here. All right, excellent. There's your first round of exercise right there. We're starting with cardio, and here we go. 
going to start with a knee repeater. All right, we're going to stay on each leg for 30 seconds, then we'll split the difference on that last round. And drive right here. Core engaged. Get the arms involved. Let's go. Shake out that leg, switching sides. If you don't need the rest, you can tap it out. Ready, and drive right here. Shake that out. Ooh, that, was, that was a good start of the glutes. All right, we're gonna split the difference this last round. I'll call half. Here we go. Three, two, one, switch legs. maybe eight. We're going to do a wide squat, curl, press for three rounds. Drop it low, curl it here, press right there. Good. Don't look at the weights when you press them overhead. Keep your eyes facing the front. Core engaged. If you have something handy and you want to rest in between, rest your hands, feel free. You don't have long though. Round two, squat, curl, elbows in. Here, then back to cardio. Double knee, double butt. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And tap. Round two. Heart rate starting to climb. One, two, one, two, but one, two, one, two. Nice. 
Full rest if you need. Last round. Okay, I'm gonna hold those eights. We're gonna do a bent over row, narrow row, stand and hammer curl here. Hinge, row, stand, curl, elbows in. Be sure you're all the way up to standing before you hit that curl. Okay, I used eights, I'm gonna go up to tens on round two. One in there, hinge forward, row, stand, hammer here. That's the beauty of the three rounds. You can kick it up, you can dial it back, you just sort of test to see what your body can do. Retract those shoulder blades and squeeze your shoulders together. to a side squat twist. I'm gonna squat in the center, up and twist, same side. Here we go, and up, same side. Good. We'll burn out that one leg. If you can't squat, you're just gonna be here with that twist, okay? Switching sides and drop it low and twist. halfway back to the original side and squat switch your twist for a chest press coming up here. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit more time to get down there. I think I'll grab my 12s. I'll use my bench if you have a bench. Feel free, if not, make your way to the ground. So again, I'm using my 12s. We're gonna do a regular wide turn narrow chest press over the chest, turn and face at the top. Here we go, squeeze and stay over the chest. Don't migrate over your head.
Good, a little rest. If you feel like your back's arching on the bench or on the floor, be sure to put your feet up and bend the knees. Here we go. Wide, turn, narrow. For my sit squat press, you can do a squat thrust right here if you don't have something to sit on. Otherwise, you're here. Press and gently sit. Don't flop down. Make sure your core is engaged before you hit that overhead press. Don't want to arch the back. If you have to arch, the weights might be too heavy. Very good. Okay, make sure your feet are a decent uh, distance from your bench or chair. But be cautious as you sit down, make sure the chair is there. And up.
Okay, setting those down. Good, we're gonna do the cross and front jack. So here, up, here, and up. Let's work, reach and tap. And tap. Round two. cardio. I'm still able to talk, have a conversation, breathe through my nose most of the time. Great for fat burning. Front raise, lateral raise combo. Twos, threes, maybe fives. All right, hit that front raise first, and then out to the side. Pop it here and down, lateral and down. Stick your chest out. I reset my chest at the bottom each time. All my shoulders back, chest up and out. Roll the shoulders back. Good job, round two coming up. Adjust your weights if you need. Cardio. Again for my jack front punch overhead reach. So you're here and up, tapping to the side. Let's work. You're here. Eliminate the weights if you need. Okay, one 
more. Then we're gonna hit some triceps. Here we go. Okay, tricep kickback. You're gonna do a single, single, double kickback. I'm holding fives. Hinge at the waist, elbows up, and here we go. Single, single, now double. Squeeze those triceps. Single, single, double here. Neck is neutral, just kind of looking at the ground, out in front of you. Elbows close to your sides. Stretch out your lower back, round two coming up. Go heavier if you want. Here we go, elbows up. Frog squats, drop low together and low. You can hit cardio kicks if you don't want to squat anymore. You're here, good. Keep your back flat. the heart rate up. Now two. here and we're gonna take it down to the ground hit some abs here we go
and rest. Oh, a little stretch right in between. Round two. Ready, here we go, and tap. All right, one more break. Last 30 seconds of work. Stay in the pocket with me and then stay tuned for a stretch if you can. Let's go and tap. Halfway there. Stay in the pocket with me. Reach that leg. Come on, you can do it. Almost done. In three, two, one and done. And you move daily in the best cardio and strength beginner workout. I love that format. Really fun. Enjoy for a stretch. Great work, everyone. Really well done. Let's get down to the ground. Nice long leg here. I'm going to stretch towards lengthening through that hamstring. I went for a big walk this morning, so I'm feeling the lower body. That was good. We did a little bit of everything. A little chest, back, biceps, tries, shoulders, abs, legs, cardio. We hate it all. It was perfect. <laughs> Switch sides. Uh, when I think of what's the best type of workout, if you have minimal time and you want to hit something, hit a total body. That's a great way to go about it. Try to give each body part like think about yourself from head to toe and think of all the major muscle groups, right? You've got shoulders, you've got chest, you've got arms, you've got abs, core, uh, torso, chest, back, and then your lower body. Let's go into butterfly here. You can pick a few exercises for each. Repeat that for three rounds or do a no repeat. Um, and yeah, then you, then you target a little bit of everything. That said, if you really want to build lean muscle, it is important to give your body that progressive overload. And you may not be at that phase right now with where you're at in a beginner workout. That's why a lot of these are total body workouts. But once you do get a little bit more fit and you've been at it for a little while, if you're like, you know what, I really want to see more tone or shape in my arms or my glutes, my legs, then it's important to add more volume to that area. So you might begin to split up some of your muscle groups and hit multiple different exercises per muscle group, right? So we know that in the triceps, there's three different heads of your triceps. So there's lots of different exercises that you can do to target all three areas of the tricep. And that's gonna lend itself to a overall larger amount of growth in that area, right, or more strength. So while you're a beginner, it's good to do a total body. I think it's great. Switch it up, do some high volume, do some where you're lifting a little bit heavier, challenging the muscles, you know, from time to time. But then as you become more fit and you really want to challenge yourself, as you age, it's really important that you're bearing weight on those ligaments and joints and that you are stressing the muscle, right? Because with stress become, comes the adaptation, comes the growth, comes the change in the muscle and in the ligaments and joints. So you never want to do it where you're going to overdo it. There's a fine line, which is why it's helpful to have a trainer or someone that can help you. But it's, it's interesting. I think when I've trained people in the past, it's always that women, typically speaking, can do more than they think they're capable of right? Uh, again, it depends on what your target is. If your target's just to move your body daily and get the heart rate up and, and get some activity in, then this is great. But if one of your targets, hands behind the back and stretch, is to increase your muscle, then that progressive overload is necessary. So there you go. Thanks for joining everyone. Go move daily now in your wellness and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout. Don't forget that beginner Kickstarter program is right there. You can join that. Lots of coaching in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition in that program, as well as a one-month 
workout schedule. All right, see ya in the next workout.